हेलो मेडिकोस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम डॉक्टर अभ्यक्त अग्रवाल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर पीडियाट्रिक्स इज गोइंग टू गिव यू अ स्मॉल लेक्चर अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीज व्हिच इज बीइंग आस्क्ड इन पीपीजी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली नीड पीपीजी दैट इज कावासाकी डिसीज एंड इट मे ट्रिक यू आल्सो सो मेनी टाइम्स एग्जामिनर सेट क्वेश्चंस एंड दे चेंज इट लिटिल बिट एंड यू मे गेट कंफ्यूज सो कावासाकी डिसीज इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट for neat examination so let's begin and learn the kawasaki disease first of all i'll request you whenever so what what will be the method first i'll give you little bit of description of kawasaki disease as well as few photographs also because nowadays they have started giving photographs in examination and also they have started having some small video clips also okay so you have to be able to recognize the things Uh, also and kawasaki disease is such a disease where very striking manifestations are there you will be seeing in it in the photo photograph now first i will describe it and then we'll take few most likely questions which can be asked in neat examination and as well as tricky questions also i'll cover up so be ready to learn relax if you are with a friend then it's very good sit with your friend relax have a cup of coffee and try to concentrate okay so first of all kawasaki disease is discovered in 1967 in japan by a pediatrician probably he was intern at that time his name was tomisaku kawasaki so tomi dr tomisaku kawasaki has first time reported such kind of syndrome and at that time it was called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome though so because there are involvement of mucous membrane and skin lymph nodes are also involved and there is fever okay now there is a diagnostic criteria for kawasaki disease because diagnosing a kawasaki disease is a clinical thing actually no confirmatory investigation is there particularly in early phases i have diagnosed around 15 cases in jabalpur also okay but most of the pediatricians think that kawasaki disease doesn't happen here but i have seen around 15 cases in my last few years anyway so diagnostic criteria so diagnostic criteria you can see here first of all fever lasting for you can see here fever for 5 or more days okay one criteria it's important because these can be formed in question form like they can write various manifestation i'll be giving you few questions later on so listen carefully fever Lasted for four, five or more days. Conjunctivitis, bilateral conjunctivitis. Okay, that means what? Right, red eyes. Right. Okay, lacrimation. Now that would be non-suppurative. That means there won't be any um, pus-like discharge. Now lymphadenopathy, as this disease name was mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome initially. Lymphadenopathy. So small lymph nodes will be enlarged. rashes rashes red macular rashes most of the time polymorphous will be there now fourth is changes in the mucous membrane of the oropharynx such as injected pharynx injected lips dry fissure lips and strawberry tongue this is important this can be asked they may show you a picture of a strawberry tongue also or they may write strawberry tongue it looks like reddish tongue uh, i have seen it multiple times whenever i diagnose kawasaki disease it's a very striking feature when you diagnose kawasaki disease but may not be present in all the cases moreover lips are very red also like lipstick like red lips now fifth point is changes in the peripheral extremity such as hand or foot edema hand or foot erythema and finger tip tip discomation things to be noted here that finger tip discomation is the almost last manifestation which will occur around third week uh, end of the third week of the illness because this illness is triphasic illness first is acute phase second phase is subacute and then convalescent phase so fingertip discomission will be there in the convalescent phase while edema of hand and foot conjunctivitis oromucosal uh, manifestations like strawberry tongue all these are early manifestation so this has to be remember also which is the early manifestation which is the late manifestation because they can utilize it in the objective test okay now have you seen it so diagnostic criteria if out of these six criteria five criteria are positive 
then it will be called as Kawasaki disease, typical Kawasaki disease. Or sec, uh, four criteria in presence of aneurysm in the echocardiography. Because you know Kawasaki disease, why it's uh, a disease of concern? Because it may cause aneurysm inside the heart, which can uh, lead to a severe complication. Uh, kid's life would be affected very badly throughout his life. He may be suffering and you must be knowing that most common cause of acquired heart disease in India is you should write it first down, then listen my answer. Pause, write. Okay. I hope you have written it. So most common acquired heart disease in India is rheumatic heart disease. Though second most common heart disease in India is acquired heart disease is what? Kawasaki disease. While in Western countries where RHD is rare now, there Kawasaki disease is the number one acquired illness. So what, what is the cause of Kawasaki disease? Kawasaki disease is actually idiopathic cause is exact cause is not known but but most probably it is autoimmune in nature it's not usually genetic or familial or not infectious it's not infectious also it's not hereditary also okay male female ratio it occurs more in male less in female five to one ratio is there male female ratio age group age group is very much important age group one to five year age group is most commonly affected 90 percent of children are of less than five year now very important less than one year <coughs> if within one year or with, uh, within the period of infancy if somebody is having kawasaki disease then it would it would be called as atypical kawasaki disease or after the five years of age if uh, kawasaki disease occurring then it will be called as atypical uh, kawasaki disease it doesn't occur usually after 15 years of age okay so adults are usually not affected by kawasaki disease though those kids who are having kawasaki disease and uh, they are later on having aneurysm heart aneurysm in the coronary arteries they would be ha having early myocardial infarction so it's a common cause of early myocardial infarction if somebody is having kawasaki disease in their childhood so this was a small description of manifestation now what about investigations uh, apart from investigation one more thing uh, one buse lines are there on the nail that's also a characteristic of kawasaki disease and sometimes bcg scar gets exaggerated if Kawasaki disease is there. Another striking feature in Kawasaki disease is fever is associated with severe irritability. Child is usually disproportionately irritable. There will be joint pain, swelling and all but he will be disproportionately irritable. Okay and fever won't be responding to anything until you treat it well for Kawasaki disease. Now investigations. It's a clinical diagnosis. Investigation is not needed to diagnose someone, but investigation will help you to take decision one. And another thing, prognosis uh, can be uh, monitored by investigation. So first investigation is CBC, which will show you thrombocytosis. It's very important. Thrombocytopenia won't be there. Thrombocytopenia means plate, decreased platelets and thrombocytosis is increased platelet. So it will there will be increased platelet. You know, normal platelet count is around 1.5 lakhs up to 2 lakhs but in Kawasaki disease it increases rapidly mostly in second week of the illness okay and it may go up to 5 lakhs I have seen 9 lakhs 10 lakhs platelets in Kawasaki disease patients so there is uh, thrombocytosis another thing C-reactive protein will be raised CRP which is called as another thing is um, ESR may be raised there can be leukocytosis also now apart from all these things Echocardiography may show aneurysm formation particularly after second week, after second week or third week. Okay, that's why it is very much important that may also be asked. Kawasaki disease treatment uh, is has to be started within 10 days of the illness, preferably within 7 days and experienced physician can diagnose it within 4 days. Okay, so uh, and those uh, who are not experienced enough, they may miss it out completely and they may later on land up with um, aneurysm formation okay uh, i've seen one aneurysm formation because of kawasaki disease in a doctor's uh, daughter okay they themselves were md medicine uh, doctors anyway so uh, the uh, now we come to the treatment treatment is drug of choice is they may ask you drug of choice it is IVIG, human IVIG, that is human immunoglobulin and there are two types of regimen most effective regimen is high dose single dose that is 2 gram per kg of IVIG and apart from IVIG you have to give aspirin 
okay high dose aspirin that is 100 mg per kg divided doses for few days and as soon as fever subsided you have to taper it off uh, up to 5 mg per kg and that would be continued because uh, aspirin will decrease inflammation initially another thing they may ask you aspirin decreases the formation of aneurysm or not so no wrong answer would be no why because uh, aspirin decreases the inflammation but it's not having any effect on aneurysm formation i hope you all all are aware of aneurysm aneurysm is what balloon like structure in coronary arteries chote chote balloon ban jayenge coronary arteries mein jo ki baad mein jinme thrombus wagera hokar coronary artery blockage ho sakta hai theek hai is wajah se kawasaki disease ko jaldi treat karne ki zarurat hoti hai if you give ivig soon within 7 days within 10 days then there is less possibility of having aneurysm formation another type of kawasaki disease is that is resistant type of kawasaki disease which is resistant to ivig in that cases ivig won't respond okay then you have to give monoclonal antibody that is infliximab drug of choice would be infliximab in resistant iv resistant cases and uh, uh, etanercept can also be given that is tnf uh, inhibitor okay uh, so uh, this was about kawasaki disease in short now we will be solving questions so i'll be giving you questions you have to see it first you write down the answer you it may be a wrong answer you may revise my lecture till now uh, if you want to listen it again uh, and uh, write down your answer if you are participating that means because you are not uh, i cannot see you right now so whether you are listening or participating or not how can i know if you are in a classroom then i may ask question ki savan ये बता दो सो सावन एंड जो भी रशिया से सावन के फ्रेंड हैं जिन्होंने मुझे बहुत अच्छे से फीडबैक दिया उन सबको थैंक यू वेरी मच और उम्मीद करता हूं कि ये क्लास आपको बेहतर समझ आएगी मैं पेस थोड़ा सा ज्यादा रख रहा हूं क्योंकि फाइनल ईयर को इंक्लूड करना जरूरी है क्योंकि वो लोग पीपीजी देने वाले हैं ठीक है तो जो लोग बिगिनर है उनको हल्का सा पेस ज्यादा लगे तो वो कमेंट बॉक्स में पूछ सकते हैं बट यदि ये लेक्चर को आप ध्यान से सुनोगे और ये फोटोग्राफ देखोगे तो आपको समझ आएगा कि डिसीज क्या है और उसके ऑब्जेक्टिव्स को कैसे सॉल्व करना है सो लेट्स जंप इन टू द क्वेश्चन सेशन सो हियर वी गो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच डिसीज डजेंट अकोर इन एडर्स ऑप्शन ए रोमेटॉइड ऑर्थराइटिस ऑप्शन बी एस एल ई ऑप्शन सी कावासकी डिसीज ऑप्शन डी चोर स्ट्रॉस सिंड्रोम राइट डाउन द आंसर आई हिव इन द होल डिस्क्रिप्शन यू नो एस एल ई SLE can happen in any age. It can occur in at, at any age. Any age. Rheumatoid arthritis is mainly a disease of adult, and Churchill-Straus syndrome usually doesn't find, uh, occur in uh, children. It's a disease of adults too. Kawasaki disease doesn't occur more than 50 after 15 years of age. Most common age group I have said already one to five years, and uh, atypical Kawasaki can occur less than one year and more than five, uh, five years also. Question two. A four-year child presents with complaints of fever for six days, red lips and tongue, with hand uh, and feet edema. What is the diagnosis? A. Kawasaki disease. B. JRA. C. SLE. D. Polyarthritis nodosa. Obvious answer है और आप लोग ये दे दीजिए बहुत easy question है ये दोनों ही question पूछे जा चुके हैं पहले ठीक है pre PG में अब हम आते हैं थोड़े से हल्के से tricky one की ओर बढ़ेंगे अब हम हाँ now a child with fever for 6 days red tongue and increased platelet count was given ivig by pediatrician what other manifestation would he could be having so they are asking it indirectly question uh, option a is strawberry tongue option b is uh, discoid rashes option 3 c is hepatospidomegaly and option d is abdominal pain now question so what will be the answer it is obvious sometimes they may give you photograph of hand and feet edema or strawberry tongue like that okay and you have to pick it pick up one question 4 drug of choice for treatment of kawasaki disease is option a ivig option b aspirin option c steroids and option d antibiotics choose one you know ivig is the drug of choice and uh, 
aspirin has to be given to decrease inflammation but IVIG is the drug of choice next question what is not a feature of Kawasaki disease option a more common in males option 2 thrombocytosis option 3 buse line on nails option 4 thrombocytopenia so pause the video write down the answer and then listen my answer yes option has to be what thrombocytopenia option d would be the answer you know i've already said thrombocytosis is striking striking feature in your kawasaki disease buse line can be there after third week on the lane on the on the nails and uh, more common in males it's five is to one ratio okay <coughs> now next question what is not found in kawasaki disease option one doesn't occur in less than one year option two previously previously called as mucoketonic syndrome mucoketonic lymphadenopathy syndrome okay option three <coughs> crp may be raised and option four is all the manifestations are present simultaneously so this was a little bit tricky one because uh, i went explained you in uh, my lecture so see uh, answer would be all the manifestation would be there simultaneously together which means why what because kawasaki disease having three phases acute subacute and convalescent phases so all the manifestations will occur in different phases for example red eyes conjunctivitis rag tongue strawberry tongue will be there in first week and then it will be disappeared and later on thrombocytosis can be there aneurysm formation can be there and then thrombocytosis will also be settled down and there can be you know, discommission of fingers like that so that's why pediatricians so many times miss it because all the manifestations are not present together so that's it friends i hope you like the lecture and you found it uh, useful you may write your own uh, area of interest you may write down any questions if you need it and i may do sometime live on instagram or on youtube if you are connected with me closely recommend it to your friend if you like it or if you don't like it then tell me why thank you